everybody, it's Robin from Robin's Online World, and I came across a great video a few minutes ago from Scott, who is at Unmarketing on Twitter, and it's about Follow Fridays and how they started out as a great idea, but they've kind of, you know, it's kind of gotten lost what happened with it, and so he suggests Follow Five now, and you pick five people uh, on Twitter and give a reason why people should follow them. And he made a video and I thought, well, that looks fun. So I'm going to do the same thing. And his requirements this week were that it was five people he had met in real life that are on Twitter. And I thought I would do the same thing. So here I go with my countdown. The first one is Scott at Unmarketing. I will have a list below uh, the video also with everybody's links so you can get to them easily. Um, I didn't really meet him for a very long period of time, but when I was in New York City for Blog Her, we, I was with a group of um, other women and we just happened to bump into him and another lady, uh, not another lady, that makes him sound like he's a lady, he's not a lady, he's a man. We bumped into Scott and Jessica on the street and you know, everybody in exchange pleasantries. We got lost wandering around for a little bit. Um, but he seemed like a very nice, genuine guy. A little quiet. Um, but I had already followed him on Twitter. And, you know, I saw stuff go by every once in a while. But since I met him, I kind of paid more attention on Twitter. And he has some really great stuff. And he has a book out, which I just ordered on Amazon the other day. And I'm expecting. It's called Unmarketing. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, the next person on my list, number two, these are not in any particular order, is at Jeff Pulver. And he's another really, I mean, he's huge on Twitter. And I was fortunate enough that he was here in St. Louis for the 140 conference road trip that he's doing. And I got to hear him speak here in St. Louis Monday night. And he was amazing to listen to. Very inspiring and gets you know, social media and Twitter, which, you know, a lot of people in my real life don't quite understand my love for Twitter. In my in my immediate family, they kind of get it. Um, they, my husband and my son are both on Twitter, too. But other people don't quite get it. So to get together with a bunch of people at a tweet up where they all get tw Twitter to start with and then to hear someone like Jeff Pulver speak was really amazing. So he's on my list. You should follow him. And he seems, I, I met him, I shook his hand, uh, introduced him to my son in that. He seems like a really genuine person. He has a lot of great ideas for the world, and I love that. Okay, the next, number three and four, is actually a couple that I've met. And the first one is Toja-san, and he is the first person that I knew from Twitter that I met in real life. He happens to be here in St. Louis also, and... I was at a Borders bookstore at the mall one day with a homeschooling group when we were homeschooling still. And I looked and I turned my head a couple times in the little cafe area and I asked my son, I said, is that Toja son? He says, I think it is. So I got out my phone really quick and I tweeted him. And I said, hey, are you at blah, blah. I mean, he's literally one table away. And, uh, and he said yes and then you know, it, it went from there, and he, he was a little shocked because I recognized him in person, and so that was an odd feeling for him. So he's wonderful to follow. He is the king of Twitter here in St. Louis, uh, really a great guy. Now, his wife also got involved on Twitter, and that's Nana J. And I've been talking with her, seems so nice and friendly always. And finally, Monday night at this tweet-up, I was able to meet her in person, and it was like we were long lost friends. She just came up to me and hugged me and we hung out. And she's just a wonderful person. And they are a perfect little couple. And I just adore them. So, all right. And then my fifth person is Louise, um, known as at Momstart. Louise, I met in person last year on a trip. I went to Max's Studios and EA. And her family was there also. And she just was the sweetest person. And we started talking more on Twitter and by email and that. And then I had a chance to hang out with her again at Blog Her. And she's just a really wonderful person. And just, I don't know how to describe Louise. She's very quiet usually. 
but when she has something to say, it's wonderful, and just a very charming woman, and a wonderful mom, and very dedicated to her family, and very dedicated to her blog, and I just really like her a lot as a person. So, that's my follow five. Thank you very much, Scott, for the great idea, and I hope other people will join in too. Bye.